is Jeremy Gregory. And I'm, that's Chris Sharp. We are uh, working artists. Had a space, works together. Yeah. Uh, next to Subway down here on 9th and Broadway. Right over there. It was mostly like a workspace, really. Well, I think just a workspace is sort of an understatement. The central location was awesome. Like I was teaching at Soda, and then I was doing a mural at the dispensary up here in the embellished building. And like all these things were all just right around the studio, and that helped a lot. There's a lot of like vitality in having a space that's occupied and people can kind of peer in and see what's going on. Like a lot of the residents in that area would, would be like really attracted to the space and the imagery that were inside our space. There was people that were kind of walking around rather than being like kind of like like faces on, on the sidewalk. They'd, you know, be like looking in the shop and like looking in there yeah. and like, I think it got people excited about the area that they lived in or just like the areas that they work around. Instead of nothing in yeah. there. <laughs> Instead of looking at empty space. With that space activated, I mean, I think that there's other people that can kind of be in proximity to that and see like, oh, well, it's possible to actually have something going on down here and I mean I think the space sat vacant for three years. When Spaceworks first started when we first got the spot it was like uh, there was uh, the personal power company and then there was our spot and there was like um, it wasn't part of Spaceworks but the Peabody Waldorf was going off and so all this energy like I would look out at night and uh, there would just be all this stuff going on that wasn't going on before you know and like as a direct result like that of from Spaceworks. Having the studio there, I spent all my time downtown. I just am at the studio all the time. And normally, I would just be at my if my studio. My studio has always been somewhere else, UP or at my house or you know somewhere else where you're still secluded. There was a lot of yeah. people that just randomly came in there. Yeah, and that was another thing. Like this guy bought something out of just from looking in the window. At home, you don't have random people just coming in and checking out your studio. All yeah, time. yeah, you're not gonna get a lot of people just window shopping when you're working at home. I think it gave us a lot of like space to work. That's sort of like a really ridiculous way of like just making a Spaceworks plug, but working in your apartment, you just don't have the mind or the psychology, like the space around your your work to really kind of take it all in. And so having that free and open, empty space was a great benefit. I had a studio in my house at that point, and, and I was used to bigger studios with a bunch of people. And then I had had a house, a uh, studio at my house for like, last year or so so it was really good to get back into a big space and you could just kind of go there as like a, as kind of like a sanctuary from from work and to work yeah that was really good right there it's like a great opportunity for you know people to kind of collaborate the chance to kind of grow as an artist and as a person that like you know just in proximity like having to yeah, like, I liked like, having him there work I liked learning stuff from watching Chris like different techniques and stuff that I never knew and it's just little things you know I was like well you can do that like that that was like one of my biggest like uh, pluses of the whole thing and Jeremy's pretty prolific he's always working on like a high number of pieces and so like I too was like kind of like I want to output like Jeremy yeah. does <laughs> having another person in the space sort of like I don't want to say that there's a safety involved but it, like I think just having another it's another brain because being in like in your apartment like working on like uh, logos and stuff like that like you just kind of go crazy like uh, having a peer inside of the space you don't check out as often and depart off from the stuff you can just kind of go over and check and say like hey am I crazy like out. yeah like is this a, is this good or is it done or is somebody to kind of elevate your work a little bit and there's some synergy that happens with that you sort of get lost sometimes when you're making work and you just like, you don't think about like, oh, we gotta clean the floor later. Or like, and like, I think it's like evident that we use the space really well because, you know, <laughs> we, like, we had some panic moments where we were like at the end, like, forgot that we had to turn it back over to somebody. It's like a good incubator. Yeah, I made stuff that I wouldn't have made. It really created like this great freedom and it, it, lots of growth came out of it.